it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use 3% hydrogen peroxide to get rid of any of the annoying type of white fungus that you often see appear on uh, cactus and succulent seedling soil such as this case here. And these, these tray of cactus seedlings I sowed about two months ago now, very good germination rates, I'm very happy. This top tray is absolutely fine, but I did notice this morning a little bit of the white sort of fungusy mould starting to appear. And it's very easy to treat if you get it quick enough with um, hydrogen peroxide, and I've done it before when I've had this appear. Usually um, I nearly always grow my cactus seedlings in the baggies or in these little trays here, and um, I, st I always sterilise the soil and then remove them after about three months then. But sometimes, even though the, the soil can be sterilised, you do notice this appear. And in that case, you do need to either unzip the baggies or lift up the, um, the glass or container you've got them in. I've just put these underneath as well for now to give a bit more ventilation. And I'm going to be showing you how you can use hydrogen peroxide now to get rid of, them, uh, rid of the white fungus. Now, this is what I've got here. Now, this is the hydrogen peroxide, 3%. And the reason why I say 3% is because you can get it in different strengths. And 3% is a very safe strength to use for, uh, for putting onto the soil of your plants has multiple uses and I'm going to be diluting this with the water. I've got a little pl uh, plant sprayer here and I've got some deionized water. You can also use distilled water to mix with the hydrogen peroxide. Now you can just use straight tap water. Many plant growers do that, no problem. In this case, I'm going to be preferring to use um, either distilled or deionized water because tap water itself contains chemicals and the more pure your water can be, the better it's going to react with the hydrogen peroxide. Now, a little bit about hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide, it's a very common household disinfectant and it's often used for cleaning and uh, using on skin wounds. It has multiple uses. And hydrogen peroxide is water with an extra oxygen atom attached with a chemical formula of H2O2. And it's easy to get for sale at many pharmacies and also on Amazon and eBay. Pretty economical as well. And as I say, it's seen at different strengths, most commonly at 3%, 6%, 10%, and 30%. But 3%, as I mentioned, is the most commonly one used for using for plants, and obviously the safest strength. And um, what I'm going to be doing here is showing you the measurements I'm going to be using to mix up for the uh, cactus soil. When you, it's very good for treating a whole range of things on, on plants as well, fungus on the leaves and everything like that. I like to use neem oil for the majority of my plants and cacti when I see anything like fungus and moulds or anything like that. But with, with seedlings, they, they can be a little bit sensitive sometimes to neem oil. When I've used it before, on, in the soil of very young uh, cactus seedlings, you sometimes get a little bit of scorch. It's the only time I've ever noticed of that neem is pretty safe. But the distilled um, hydrogen peroxide with the, with the distilled water, personally, in my experience, is much safer. And uh, what I'm going to be doing now with the measurements, what you want to do, you obviously have to dilute the hydrogen peroxide. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be mixing one tablespoon, which is about 15 millilitres, with one cup of the um, distilled or deionized water. I'm going, to, I'm going to put it into this plant spray bottle, mix it up, and then thoroughly spray um, the, the soil to get rid of any of the mould on the seedlings. I just want to mention that um, US and UK uh, measurements have slightly different, I mean, with the, the, sorry, the hydrogen peroxide, pretty safe, so if, if it's a little bit higher than the percentage of um, hydrogen peroxide to water, very rarely should be a problem to plants. But just to mention that um, one tablespoon, 15 millilitres, in the US measurements would be about 17 millilitres. And one US cup is about 237 millilitres compared to um, a UK of 250 millilitres. Now, I just want to mention, although I'm using 50 millilitres, which is one tablespoon per cup of water to mix this solution, if, you, if the fungus and mould is very severe on your seedlings, then you can double the strength that I'm recommending here. You can also use two tablespoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide to one cup of water, two tablespoons will be 30 millilitres of hydrogen peroxide per cup instead of 50 millilitres. But mine is only quite um, mild, so that's why I'm going a little bit low to start off with. You could always, if you find that it doesn't get rid of it the first time and you still have a bit of fungus left, then you can increase the, the, the concentration um, dosage of the hydrogen peroxide to water. But I wouldn't recommend going above 
three tablespoons of a hydrogen peroxide to one cup because it can be a little bit too strong. Okay for more adult plants, a lot of people recommend using that strength to water plants, um, house, you know, bigger house plants and plants that have fungus. But with seedlings, you do have to be very careful. And although hydrogen peroxide is, is pretty safe, very safe for plants, it's best to go a little bit under than over when it comes to the dosage. You'll soon know how, um, how it treats the soil and um, whether you need to go a little bit more higher on the hydrogen peroxide per water ratio in this case. Also, if you find you have them annoying fungus gnats, then uh, little flies hover over the soil of your seedlings and they lay their larvae in the soil and eat the roots of your young seedlings. You can also use um, hydrogen peroxide as well very efficiently to get rid of them. And I would recommend then also going a little bit stronger with the, the dosage of hydrogen peroxide per water. I would recommend 30 milliliters of hydrogen, of 3% hydrogen peroxide per cup of water, which is two tablespoons per cup of water. But in this case, the reason why I'm just going with the 50 milliliters per cup of water is because the, the fungus infestation is only quite light on my cactus seedlings and, and it's always, that strength has always worked for me, but you may need to sort of play around a little bit with um, hydrogen peroxide to see what works personally for you. Got my little measuring jug here, got 15 millilitres on that. So here we go, let's get mixing and um, getting it into this bottle. That's 15 millilitres of the 3% hydrogen peroxide into 250 millilitres of water in there. And I'm going to put the, um, the spray top on and give it a bit of a, a light, gentle shake. And here we go. All you want to do is gently. Uh, Gently spray onto the soil there. It's hard to avoid the seedlings because they are so small and thoroughly wet the soil. And that's it. That's really all you have to do. I'm going to do all these as well that are close by to be on the on the safe side. A bit more. Now, I don't mean you can hear it slightly fizzing. It gives a bit of a fizzy noise when you actually spray. That's actually the, the hydrogen peroxide fizzing now that's completely harmless and it's just a sign that it's working but um, that should do the job and if you happen to notice that it, one application isn't enough then do another application a couple of days later but that um, that's all you need to do to get rid of the the fungus now some fungus and mold is completely harmless but it's difficult to know which is which when you have an adult mature plants and it's on the soil it's nearly always harmless and I've made a few videos on that white mold on house plants and I'll link the video to that if you haven't seen it up above and down below in the video description but this is when it happens to be on very young uh, seedlings in the soil they can it can sort of be dangerous especially if you notice that the fungus has a bit of a horrible sort of smell to it then um, it's best to treat it and I find hydrogen peroxide does the job and there's many ways as I've say of using hydrogen peroxide it's very safe to use to actually water into the soil of plants as well house plants especially gives them a bit of a bit of a bit of an oxygen boost but that's a whole nother video for another day so I hope you found that useful should you have annoying fungus on your seedlings and I just want to mention when when seedlings first germinate Often around the seeds you'll see a little bit of fungus and it looks like fungus when it's actually the little root hairs starting to emerge from the seed. So you have to be very careful, you have to really look at it through a strong magnifying glass to check that it's fungus. Fungus usually sort of spreads itself over the top of the soil as if it's just the seed starting to germinate it seems to be more encased around the shell. It's very almost impossible to tell the difference though so if you're not sure treat it with a hydrogen peroxide because it won't hurt won't hurt the um the seeds or the young seedlings i'll just show you how successful all my other ones are very happy there so guys thank you so much for watching if you want to know how to get rid of the slimy um, algae and moss on your seedling soil as well do check out another video i've made there links will be up above and down below in the video description and if you want to know how to grow cactus from seed check out the video i've made on how to grow cactus from seed links also up above and down below in the video description i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus and seedling power from across the emerald isle and until my next video bye